Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Imperial Italy, an EU4 Let's Play. We are actually Italy, and we are actually the Emperor. <laughs> I keep going to say Empire. But yes, that is us. We are in charge of the HRE, and we're Italy, and everything is awesome. Just like this in the Lego movie. Okay, a bit of a skirmish there. Dealt with that. Salerno is under occupation, but they're flipping it to us every time, because they have no real reason to be around here. And finish that. A few ships have gone away. Gain a CB against... Oh, because they took Nice. Uh... Yeah, that may be decent to do. Oh, um... What we want to do is we need to go and resiege this stuff. In fact, if we can get a large force to Cuneo, we might be able to assault their walls before they're able to fully reinforce their garrison. We will still have to breach, but then we might be able to do an assault. Eternal conflicts, all right. New idea. Um, yeah, we will need some Diplo points to negotiate the peace, of course. But, well, actually, I suppose I'll wait then. I won't take it yet, but I do want to take that idea. France may very well control those sieges, which is okay, because there's really a limit to how much I want to take. Okay, Armenia, go nuts. Ah, evangelical unit has triggered, so the Protestant and Catholic leagues are now enabled. So we need to make sure to join the Catholic League right away. Oh, which we automatically do. Because we're the Emperor, and we're Catholic. Okay. Can I, like, invite people to join? How does this work? Hey, uh, Austria. What's up? I guess not. I don't see it. So presumably people will just do it one way or another. Oh! Mines is voting for us. Lots of people are voting for us. Excellent. New mission. Pro relations with the Platinate. Platinate, you're you're Catholic, right? No. Although I can royal marry you. That would complete that mission, like pretty quickly if we start doing that sort of stuff. Or you can get Tunis to like us. Or conquer Albenga. Oh, Provence took that too. Manpower recovery, yearly prestige. You know what? We're going to take this. Plus, we actually already have a claim on it. I think, I mean, that might have given us a claim, but we have it because it's part of Italy. I think. I might be wrong. It's been known to happen. Not often, but sometimes. PMO. Um, you were supposed to go there. Oh, you have to take the long way around now. Ah, I see. I see how it is. Burgundy allied Genoa. Genoa's not really an issue anymore. So, oh yeah, and we'll wait till Napoli sieges. Um, send some more dudes over here. Oh, there's a wall breach already. And how many people do you got? Ah, well, we can assault. No? Oh, I'm not leading the siege. Oh, really? Hey, we can uh, we converted Urbino. Nice. Um, I think better... Ooh, reputation is good too, but relations over time... That's good. Helps us burn away AE. All kinds of good stuff. Still waiting on that. We do have a wall breach. Oh, we lost the general. But, uh, actually we have pretty good numbers here. I'm not leading the siege. Ugh. Of course I'm not. I'm not leading the siege anywhere. Then, uh, just make your way to the, uh, to the middle of our country here. Let's get everyone in Urbino or something. It's fine. I don't know what the siege, pro siege progress is in, uh, Savoy. I wonder what you can do to convince the AI to, like, initiate an actual siege. Okay. Naples, you are 100% sieged, my friend. How do you feel about that? Can't vassalize you. You're way too big. Humiliate. Yes, we definitely want to humiliate our rival. That's really important. So then the question is, what do we do with the rest of our points? Well, some war reparations and all our money is always good. And then maybe we take some land. Of course, I said we weren't, we're not going to need to core anything anymore, but. War goal prevents demanding this province. Wait, really? Revoke your cores on my land. Break your relationship with Savoy. Humiliation is worth its weight in gold. 
It's a lot of power projection. We still have some from Milan from way back when. That's really nice. Um, and only 55%. I think because we need to take Cuneo. And that will probably 100% things. Once we've done that. Get up over here. You guys get in there. Lots of black flags going on. Genoa's still in on it. Recent Uprising. One Siege of Cuneo. 55. Why? Is France still in this war? In their own independent war? They are. That's really, really annoying. Because I can't get as much as I might like. That is not much aggressive expansion, really. Could return some cores. <gasps> Wait, we can just vassalize them? Oh, come on! France, get out! I need France to get out of this war, because I can vassalize these guys. The problem is they're going to be slightly smaller, because France is going to take something. They want Savoy itself. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to vassalize these guys, and then annex them. Actually, what would be really nice is if I could vassalize them and then force them to join the HRE. Sickness of the Emperor. More power to the nobles. Production efficiency, but less taxes. More trade efficiency, but you get autonomy. I really don't like autonomy, so I'm just going to do that one. You know, I'm not doing the math. I don't know which one's necessarily better. I just don't like autonomy. So, yeah, we need... Okay, there we go. They actually took two of these. Wow. And I have claims on Savoy because it is rightfully part of Italy. So, what's left of Savoy is very small now. So, damn it. I'm not sure about this mechanic. There's These two provinces are not in the HRE. But they should be. Right now, that is costing me Imperial Authority. Because it's at the bottom there. Provinces in the Empire under control of non-member states. If I vassalize Savoy, will that go away? If I vassalize Savoy, can I force them to join the HRE? I don't know. Well, I'll vassalize Savoy, and then I don't know. So right now, because there's 15 provinces. So there's 15 provinces that aren't in the Empire. So will that number go down? Sue for peace. Um, wait. Does Switzerland have its own independent war? So that will drag me into a war against Switzerland. Well, I should be able to crush Switzerland. I don't know what I'm going to want to do to them. Not much. You have no money. Give up your claims on my stuff. Nothing else matters. You're going to become my vassal. You're going to give up your claims on me. Sure. And then we'll suddenly find ourselves in a war against Switzerland. So, if I go back over here, still 15 provinces not in the Empire. And can I really not force them to join? Hmm. Well, I guess we'll just have to diplomatic them later on. Move the cannon into there. Truce of the Papal States. Did they exist? France broke their lines with us. All right. That's the way it's going to be. We knew it was going to come. I will stack wipe Swiss. Oh, right. They have more land over there. Which I hadn't even seen. Okay. We're going to split you in half and do one of those. We're probably, I suspect... We're going to be rivals with France going forward. I think that might be part of the new reality. Bohemia. Ooh. A lot of alliances are breaking. Are you Are you Protestant? You are. Okay. Well, I can't fault you for that. 
And then what we're going to have to do is accumulate our strength so that we can be stronger for the upcoming war. For the Catholic League war. And Switzerland is actually going to be on our side for that. So, you know, it sort of sucks that we stack wipe them. Burgundy is coalitioning us. Yeah, well, we're going to definitely have to make sure not to take anything from Switzerland, I think. Because we don't want to snowball this coalition. There's quite a few already in here. Quite a few. I mean, I did just, like, vassalize Savoy. Um, let's get a royal marriage, because I already have, already have a relation with them. And then we'll try to improve a relationship. They actually like me a fair deal. So that's nice. Do I have any cannons here? I do, actually. And we busted down walls here. I'm tempted to just do the rush, but I don't know. Sure, you can have military access. Um, yeah, I don't think we're coring anything. Tell you what, I'll wait on that admin level, but I'm pretty sure it's totally fine. And I have lots of diplomatic power. Yeah, let's go ahead and finish this idea group off. Because whatever I'm going to negotiate with Switzerland, it won't be that problematic. In fact, well, I might want them to, like, break some things. Oh, I might want them to revoke their cores on Savoy. Actually, I think I like that quite a bit. Because that should ease a lot of our tension here. Well, some of the tension. Well, it might not make a difference. I don't know. So I guess I'll go ahead and spend this. Why not? I got nothing to core right now. I'm not overextended. And I won't be taking anything from Savoy. Although I say that. Oh, I was hoping that the Savoy... Or, I'm not going to take anything from Switzerland. I was going to say, I was hoping that Savoy might have had a... A claim or a core over here. It does. I think that would lead to more aggressive expansion on my part. But it might be a good idea. Is Cleves back? Oh, remember when I was supporting those rebels in Cologne for a little while? Now, they're Catholic. It'd be much better. Can I support rebels in Saxony for independence? Brunswickian separatists. I have no idea if there's going to be enough unrest to actually make a difference, but let's give it a bit of a go. This is that classic um, Arumba complaint, where you can't actually see what the um, what the unrest percentages end up being. Well, you can see these, I guess. So I guess maybe it's not taking effect, but what we can't see is the actual overall um, the percentage here, like how far things have progressed. I suspect this one's not going to cut it since I'm not seeing a percentage chance. Okay, Switzerland. Sup? I mean, I could just eat you, but I think that would be bad. We can annul treaties at Liège. That's a matter. Apparently, can't... Yeah, can't give anything to my vassal. I could just vassalize you. Um, that would upset the HRE a lot. Give up claims on Ravensburg. You know what? Do that. Because I don't want you blobbing out. I want to keep these things independent. Um, give me war operations and all your money. There. See? Really gentle. Alright, coalitions are continuing to grow. We'll pull back our troops. We're going to make sure we're at our force limit. Still building ships slowly. Actually, that might we might be done building ships. We are. And we, we could build three more, so I will build three more caravels. Good. Um, I guess we're going to have to go and help with that. Luckily, we are still at full maintenance. Naples joining the Protestant League. Naples isn't even in the HRE, which is interesting. Now, what kind of CBs do I have right now? Imperial Ban, Denmark, Poland, Burgundy, Milan, and Savoy. Now, Milan has joined the coalition, so that would trigger. How big of it is it? Hungary, Burgundy, Provence. Not necessarily the end of the world. Just out of curiosity, who would join on my side? Mm, just Brandenburg right now, so I guess that's going to be a no. Mm -hmm. France canceled that. Fair enough. Uh, land maintenance. No, you know what? We're going to be fine. We're going to just get our next military tech level. I mean, it is nice to save money on uh, maintenance, don't get me wrong. 
but I think that will ultimately be better. What's our current comp looking like? Good. In fact, if anything, we could fill out with a little bit more cavalry. Hello? There we go. Get a bit more flanking going on. I should probably have a bit more cavalry than I tend to build with, but that's okay. Unlawful territory. Milan! 0% chance that you'll accept, but I will still do it because it will put more pressure on you. Grabundan. Where is that? Oh, right here. Oh, you just went and ate some of Switzerland. They refused the demands. I'd love to declare war on you, but I guess we're going to have to wait for... So maybe um, it's possible... It's possible that going and annexing Savoy or vassalizing Savoy is actually, because of this coalition, might stop me from being able to do more more better emperor thingies. Prove relations. Let's cap that out. Um, yearly prestige. I think I want... I'm actually good on prestige. This is going to drain pretty fast, though, because it's so high. Yeah, all right. We'll lose a bit of power. It's okay. Um, yeah, we're waiting for the military tech. Milan being a jerk. <sighs> Do I need the humanist? Well, I'll be very happy for this much, much later on. When I'm the emperor and I have all the HRE. But short term, I'm not sure it helps. We don't need expansion idea. Economic is... Got some nice things, and then it's got some stuff that really only matters if you do take loans. Well, I guess it's only got the one loan one. The inflation reduction might help if I end up with Tyrol, for example. Which could certainly happen. And then you get the development thing. That might be the way to go. Less prestige decay I actually like quite a bit. Merc one doesn't matter as much. Cheaper technology cost is always good. And that's a lot of Merc stuff. Because I do have to spread things around. Again, I'm not maxed out anywhere. So I suppose I can continue to just wait. Um, at some point, I'm going to want to remove the focus on admin. Just to balance things out again. Especially since our Diplo is a little far behind. Plus, we always want to get a decent amount of uh, military. Uh, speaking of, one more in production. Um, let's build a couple more infantry then. Bring us up to our force limit. Wish I could execute them. Ah. Diplo rep penalty. And we've got some more ships. So our trade should be excellent in Genoa. 53% and 80% over here. We're making some really good money. There we go, as expected. Um, I would probably quite like to change one of my rivals. I can't right now. Trade dispute against France. And how's my... Um, oops, I didn't want to move you. I want to right-click on myself. How's my alliance status? My relationship status? I could definitely get another one. You're Protestant. I think I'm going to have to go and... Oh, I'm allied with Cologne already. Protestant. I think I will get Poland back on my side. I think that will be very helpful. I wonder if they just joined the Catholic League. Um, Because I think... I'm pretty sure people external can. France... Wait, France is Protestant? Oh, shit. No. You're Catholic. You're Catholic, but you joined the Protestant League? You bastard. Seriously? Wow. Uh, Castile? Are you, what's your flag color? Okay, you've joined the Catholic League. France joined the Protestant League. Well, I mean, you know, that stuff does happen. <sighs> All right. What's our conflict? Oh, they're not balanced at all. Tell you what, let's have everyone meet up here. Split. It might be a little cannon light, actually. I think I'm, I might have overcompensated. But that's okay. And Milan's actually Catholic. Uh, piss off Austria or lose power. 
I do want Austria to like me. Luckily, they like me okay right now. They want my stuff. They might flip. Let's accept that hit. I think we'll still be okay. I hope so, anyway. Emperor is dead, but I'm re-elected, so that's another 10. Okay, stability drop. Regency Council. Uh, royal marriages, yes, let's re-establish those. Oh, good Regency Council, holy cow. That is going to be a lot of time that I cannot declare war, and that's probably good. Um, I will go ahead and boost our stability to be non-negative. Um, and we will try to re-establish our royal marriages. Uh, Brandenburg. It was Protestant, but isn't holding that against me. And we're good, because we can't marry Cologne or Mines. Okay. Alright, that's fair. Mm. Just randomly improve relations with Hungary. They do keep... They rival me. That does suck. I forget about that. That makes it pretty much impossible, but who knows? Things could change. Probably they won't. Um, what's going on here? Livonian Order. He's taking out Lithuania. Wow, there's not much of Lithuania left. Holy crap. Hey, maybe we should make friends with Muscovy. And Sweden's been independent for a while. Oh, we've got a queen. Queen Hedwig. Let's go and prove things over there. Eh, you're Protestant. Still. It'd be nice if we could get, maybe, like, this whole Napoli thing to go away. You know, bro, listen. We could, we could chill, right? Maybe not. Well, we can't start a war right now. Uh, how's our maintenance right now? It is capped. Let's bring that down to zero. Um, and I think our forts are mostly down. Some are up, some are down. Uh, Florence, you don't have to be up at all. You're okay. Savoy will like us a lot. Etat c'est moi. Um, this is better, because it's only going to cost me 80 admin power to bring this up. If I'm even concerned with being above zero. And I am. Or above... Not, not negative. There we go. That's how I should say it. Mm-hmm. So as our autonomy continues to drop, our force limit will occasionally go up. Plus, we're getting, like, substantial bonuses from the Empire itself. Uh, I've got a decent amount of cash, so... Do I want to build more forts? I don't think so. More workshops might be nice in these places. Quite a bit in Milan, actually. And Siena. Good results there. Uh, temples? Yeah, it's not terrible. Squeeze out a little bit more. Technology. Yes. Better cannon, artillery fire, artillery shock. Yeah, so huge improvement. Oops, I missed one of those. I think that was a new CB over here. Pure liberation on Lundberg and Milan. Well, Lundberg. Lundberg? Lundberg. Lundberg, not Laun. Or was I looking at province name? Lundberg, Lundberg, okay. Oh, it's Lundberg over there. Alright, I see what's going on here. So if we had a diplomat again. Say the Swedish one. Because you only have one ally here, buddy. We're going to run the Imperial Liberation on you right away. Regency Council. Okay, we really, 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 really um, need to change the game so you can declare war in a regency council. Give us, give us, um, give us a stability hit if it happens. Damn it! That's so annoying. All right, fast forward. How old are we? Nine. Jeez. Well, I suppose we'll go ahead and put a cut in here. Um, our alliances aren't necessarily... Well, no. Austria, Poland, Brandenburg. There's some decent alliances in there. Um, some of the others are mostly political ones to make sure electors keep voting for us. Speaking of, not as many as before. We're voting for Burgundy. Are you guys all Protestant? Yeah, see, we have to uh, we have to trigger this League War so that... Um, League does not follow. The League that does not follow may declare war to change the dominant faith. Right, so they have to start it. But if they lose, then all Protestants get stripped out of being electors, 
which is going to be nice because right now it's very, very, very problematic because, yeah, everyone else is Protestant. That is a pretty big no vote. But we've got a pretty good yes one everywhere else. Uh-huh. Yes, we do. Good. Okay. Well, hopefully we're going to be okay. Um, hopefully we can do a little bit of uh, liberation once, um, once our... Regency Council goes away. That'd be nice. Up until now, we gotta sit and twiddle our thumbs. Thanks for watching another episode, though, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.